And we're glad you're joining us this morning. We're reading from Psalms 50, I mean Isaiah 55, 7 at verse 6. 6 through 9. Ready? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Amen. What a blessed word. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for this day. A new Sunday we've never seen before. Full of your mercy, grace, and loving kindness. We thank you that you summons us here today. We come, oh God, lifting up your name. We come to give you glory, honor, and praise. For it's in thee that we live and move and have our being. Without you, we are and can do nothing. We magnify your name, oh God. We glorify your name. There's only one God, the only true God. Hallelujah. And we ask you, oh God, to sit down on us afresh today. Use us as we yield ourselves to you, oh God. Let your kingdom come. Reign in us, sovereign Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you for every song, every clap of the hand, every stump of the feet. It's to magnify and lift you up. And we want you to be glorified in our midst, oh God. We thank you for those that you have sent here to be a part of our fellowship this morning, oh God. Knowing that the God we serve is the only true and living God. Able to deliver, able to make whole, able to forgive, able, oh God. Oh, we give Praise. We give you honor because you're worthy. In Jesus' name, oh God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.
I pray, oh God, for obedience spirit in her, oh God. That she would obey your direction. That she would no longer need to be homeless, oh God. Lead her in the way that she should go, oh God. We thank you for her salvation, oh God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you for her salvation, oh God. We pray for Jackie, oh God. We thank you for her opportunity to help, Lord God. Oh God, but you know, Lord God, you know the heart of every man, oh God. Every man. You know our thoughts and our ways, oh God. Lord God, and you say they're evil, oh God. Lord God, we pray, oh God, that you would touch her. Touch her now in the name of Jesus. You show yourself powerful. You show yourself strong. You show yourself mighty in her life, oh God. Oh God, you take control. You take control, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Randy Willis, oh God, we pray for him, oh God. Sometimes people just want to talk, Lord. And we know and we understand, oh God. But our answer is you. Not our way to direct them is to your cross, oh God. Lord God, we pray, oh God, that he would line up with your word. That his household would get in order, Lord God. Lord God, we know the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. We pray for this marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Many say they know you, Lord God. But how can you know them? How can they know you if they can't love their brothers, their sisters, oh God? Line them up with your word. Order their steps, oh God. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over every name that's been called out, Lord God. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We decree their salvation. We thank you, Lord, for their salvation. Lord God, no weapon for them. Your prosper, lead them to your kingdom, oh God. Lead yes, them to your kingdom. Yes. Nothing's been possible with you, oh God. Nothing's been possible with you, oh God. You are impossible, God, that does the possible, oh God. That does the impossible, oh God. Show yourself mighty in their lives. Yes. Show yourself strong. Show yourself and strong in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
anything. There's nothing to that's us. Right, that's he's right. He's a healer. He's yes, a deliverer. Yes, he and he is. loves you. He and loves he's us. able to do exceedingly and abundantly yes, he does. He all of us. and ask some things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We Amen. declare Amen. this freedom. We declare deliverance in your soul, in your spirit, in your body. We have a God that's full of peace and joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Joy unspeakable. Hallelujah. His, he he high and he looks low yes. and you can give it to him cast yes. your burdens yes. and your cares yes. on the Lord he knows right. just what to do he's able That's to right. do he can turn the midnight yes. into day he can yes. turn yes. you around right. he can put you on the right street he can make a way yes. out of nowhere yes. hallelujah yes. hallelujah he's a miracle working God hallelujah he's a day by day God hey hallelujah Hallelujah. He opened doors that need to be open, and he'll close the door that need to be closed. He'll draw your children to you. Prepare your heart to receive what you need from the Lord this That's morning. Right. As the word goes forth, as the prayer goes That's forth. Right. Hallelujah. We serve an awesome God. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. He will not turn anybody out that call on him. His name is Jesus. His name is Savior. His name is Redeemer. Hallelujah. His name is Friend. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He'll put food on your table. He'll give you rest so you can sleep. He's a mighty God. Thank you for your power. 
shall make you free. I'm glad that the writer put that word, make you free. Jesus said, make you free. Uh, because when God comes, he don't come to entertain you. He comes to make you what he designed you to be. And in making, it forces you out and him in. Right? When truth comes, it makes you into something that you didn't intentionally want to be. So I found out that truth has to, before it does its work, it has to make you mad before it makes you glad. And you don't have to say amen, because I go and get an amen. I'm not looking for it, but I know, I know the truth, amen. amen. You know, amen. Only because we shared last week what Jesus said, that's very important for us to understand where we at in the stream of our world, that men love darkness rather than light. Amen. They do. Uh, some some young 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 guy uh, uh, wanted to uh, hijack, carjack some woman, some senior out of her car. Amen. And uh, uh, I think uh, some somebody saw it. Amen. And started dealing with him. Amen. Uh, there was another incident where uh, some man was uh, trying to steal I think, still a woman's purse. Amen. Push her down. Some guy jumped over the counter and tackled this guy and started whooping on him. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. This ain't going down. Right. Amen. Men love darkness rather than light. Are you, are you, are you listening? Amen. Amen. It, it's so many uh, uh, evil things that's happening out there, and, and God wants us to be aware, amen, that uh, we have to be the light and salt of, of the world. Amen. 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 Praise God. Uh, you kind of started when I told you in broad daylight last the other week, uh, a man with a sword cut a woman's head clean off broad daylight. You heard about that, right? No o'clock. Broad daylight. On the street, just <laughs> cut the head clean off. And we're living in evil times. And so I don't want you to be all comfortable and say everything's all right. Everything is not all right. Uh, uh, God wants the principle of his kingdom order reestablished. Uh, and it has to be established in us so we can be uh, a torrent against the world. We can be, uh, you know, sandpaper against the wiles of this evil in our society. Mm -hmm. uh, Hebrews chapter 4, I just want us to read here. Uh, I'm reading these things on purpose. I know you know them. You know, I heard that. Yeah, well, I want you to hear it again. Uh, Hebrews chapter 4. Now look at me for a minute. I'm going to keep doing that. Now, this is to let you know what God's word actually does. His word actually does everything that it says it does in this book. He just don't heal. Amen. He just don't bless. He just don't make you happy. Right. Amen. All that's a part of who he is. But see, let's understand. Uh, even when we're praying for people and ministering to people, and we get prayer requests for people, it's not always that God wants to heal a person. That's right. It's his will that he heals a person. But I need uh, for us to understand uh, some things we have, don't get mad. Some things we have paid for. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. Amen. Something men have paid for. That's right. Amen. And no, no matter how, how much you pray, how long you pray, don't mean it's going to turn the tides of that issue. God may have a word he wants to give us when we're praying for someone for their healing. He may have a word that he wants to give them for the healing that may unlock a healing. That's right. That may let them know that there's not going to be a healing. That's Amen. Right. Are you listening? Yeah. Amen. Amen. So I don't want you to think that God is some Santa Claus or some, uh, you know, uh, gimme, gimme, I got to have this God. 
uh, you got to do this, God. Uh, God didn't have to do nothing. That's right. Come on. He, he's merciful to who he wants to be merciful unto. Huh? Uh, he's compassionate to who he wants to be compassionate to. Are you listening? So, uh, everything is not going to come out uh, like you and I want it to. We need to pray prayers, pray prayer through, pray a situation through, and see what God's answer is in that matter. Hebrews chapter 4, amen. We're talking about the principle of kingdom order, but chapter 4 of Hebrews, you have to say amen? Amen. Amen. It says, verse 11, it says what? Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Read that again, it's very important. It says what? Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest. That's the rest of the people of God. But that rest is not coming to all of us as the people of God. He says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example and that example was what? Unbelief. Amen. One thing that God hates is unbelief. One thing that God hates is unbelief. Uh, what is unbelief? It's rebellion against truth. It's a rebellion against what God has said. Amen. That's unbelief. Amen. God said a thing. Amen. You know, uh, and you, we have to patiently wait on the Lord to deliver. Amen. That promise. Amen. All right. All right. Through faith and patience, we what inherit the promises. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, let's look at uh, uh, Hebrews uh, three. Just hold on a minute. I want to show you something. Uh, verse nine of Hebrews chapter three. We're talking about the principles of kingdom order. Verse nine says, "When your fathers tempted me, proved me, and saw my works forty years." Read. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, they do always err in their heart. Not their head, they err in their heart. heart. And they have not known my ways. ways. Amen. Uh, they wanted to know what's in his hand. They didn't want to know his way, you know, to get what's in his hand. They want to know, you know, gimme, yeah, gimme God. No, no, God ain't a gimme genie kind of God. Amen. Uh, they didn't want to know his ways. They want to know what they can get and receive from God from his hand. Amen. Praise God. Uh, God has more to give, amen, oh, yes, than what you want, amen, to make you happy. Amen. He, he wants your ways to come in alignment, amen, uh, with who he is. Amen. Uh, he's good for whatever he promised. I say he's good for whatever he promised. I say, man. Uh, but most of the time, we only want the good stuff. They want to pay the price for what it costs, amen, to get the good stuff, amen. It costs to have good stuff, amen, praise God. Amen. It, it costs to ride in a Mercedes, amen, praise God. How many want a Mercedes? Raise your hand, praise God. You don't like Mercedes, you know? How many want a Cadillac, amen, uh, praise God. Uh, what kind of car do you like? A BMW. Who want a BMW? I'm going to like BMW, amen, praise your hand, praise God. I want a car that runs. Thank you. Oh, my car that runs. Praise God. That's a good thing. I car that runs. Praise God. Have four wheels and it works. Praise God. Amen. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, but in order for you to want to have a BMW, man, first you have to analyze what it's going to cost me to have a BMW. Amen. Praise God. Amen. It's all that. I want a BMW. I want one too. Praise God. Oh, uh, but when you find out what a water pump comes on, on a, comes on a BMW, you're going to think twice. Amen. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I found out uh, other uh, mechanic had a, a Datsun 240Z sports car. Nice car. Yeah. Anyway, I was at the shop and this man was getting his, um, he had a Porsche. He's getting a water pump change. Usually, usually a water pump costs about $37, something like that, praise God. Uh, 50 at the most, praise God. Uh, I was Tony, I was just buying my own business, and uh, the man was giving the price to this gentleman of the water pump. I almost passed out. 
try that now. The water pump was six hundred dollars. I, I don't want to. <laughs> what, what kind of car? I, I miss the huh? Porsche. There's a Porsche. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 but here, it wasn't just because of it being a water pump. It's just how to get it out. That was the key. You know, the water pump probably was just, you know, minimal, but to get it out, the labor of taking it out was the deal. Yeah. So it's cute to say I want a Porsche. It's cute to say I want a BMW. It's cute to say I want a Mercedes until you have to take it into the shop. Amen. And, and then you pay twice. Tell there. You better have a warranty. You better have a warranty. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And you better have the money to pay for the warranty. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Amen. Amen. And so but we talk about the principles of order. There's nothing wrong with having whatever you want. God says you can have whatever you want. I said, God said, you can have whatsoever you want, but whatsoever you want will cost you. Amen. Praise God. Are you willing to work for it? Amen. Okay. I said, you're willing to work for it. Amen. Amen. Okay. And don't get jealous of somebody else. Amen. That's right. Just work for it. Uh, the principle of kingdom order, verse uh, number uh, nine of Hebrews 3. One of us read, it says, when your father tempted me, threw me, and saw my works 40 years. Wherefore I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always care in their heart, and they do and they have not known my ways. Right they have not known my ways or my principles. Have not known my what? Ways or principles. What's a principle? I need to write this down. A principle is a comprehensive and fundamental law or doctrine. Now, all this is important for you because you're going to hire God. Say, I'm going to hire God. And so, we're going to have principle. Principle is a compre what? comprehensive, fundamental law or doctrine. Uh, a principle is a rule or code of conduct. When you speak about principle, it's a rule or code of conduct. People do not like rules. People don't like to have godly conduct. Amen. A principle, again, is a comprehensive and fundamental law or doctrine. A principle is a rule or code of conduct. Amen. A principle is a habitual devotion to right principles. A man or a woman of principle. Are you? <laughs> principle is the laws or facts of nature underlining the working of a artificial device. I'll say it again. <coughs> principle, the laws or facts of nature underlining the working of an artificial device device. Now I'm getting into this now. You know I mean something to you later. Principle. Say principle. Principle. The primary source or origin. The primary source or origin. Ancestry. Heritage. Amen. Ancestry or heritage. <laughs> Principle is the primary source source or origin. Take note of this that in origin that Jesus is light. Jesus is light. Again, take note of this. We're in school. Jesus is life and he is light. Yes. Can I say it one more time? Yeah. Talk about the principles of kingdom order is that 
in origin that Jesus is life and light. Mm -hmm. Now, these, uh, to me, as your leader, this is deep stuff for me. Yes, yeah, yes. Uh, these are not no ten dollar words. These are small words that you can just grasp. Amen. To live the high life. Amen. 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 Uh, I deem that you all that are here gonna live the high life in Christ Jesus. Amen. amen. But you gotta know that Jesus is life, and He's light. I'm going somewhere with this. Oh God, I'm excited. Origin. Hear me carefully. It's the point at which something begins or rises or from which it derives or originates. Origin. The point at which something begins or rises or from which it derives or originates. Again, origin is the point at which something begins. If you want to begin to have light, if you want to begin to have light, I'm talking about kingdom life, amen? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Where God makes all things brand new in your life. Yes. Cause you to go from glory to glory, from faith to faith, amen? Yes. Remember, I, I, I said that the primary source and origin is that Jesus is life and he is light. You will quicken later. The point, origin, the point at which something begins or rises, or from which is derived, originate. Oh God. Mm, here we go. See origin. Something that creates. Something that what? Creates. Who created you? God. Who created you? God. God created you. So he's the origin yes, he of you having life. Yes, he is. He's the origin of you having life. And successful living. Amen. Amen. My wife been, and myself, we've been successful in living because of our origin. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Pastor said you're successful. I'm sure it. Amen. I got the light of light. Yes. yes we do. And the light of light. Oh, yes. The origin of all light. Is with us. Amen. 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 Not only with us, but in Amen. us. Yes. Yes. Amen. And he has made me glad. Yes. He has made me glad. Yes. We will rejoice for he has made us. Glad, glad, glad. I'm about to sing, y'all. And get ready. Amen. I, I'm, 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 I'm totally serious about this. Amen. Amen. Uh, he has made us glad. Yes, he has. Glad. And I glad. And I yeah. Not sad. That's That's right. Right. I haven't been sad one day about my Jesus. Amen. Who's my life and who's my life. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. You get happy too. All right. I am happy. As long as you don't make him a Santa Claus. That's right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. That, this is serious. Yes. Amen. Amen. You're going to live a principal life. Your shoulders squared back, amen. Your head up high, amen. And you ain't gonna be duped amen. or bamboozled amen. by light and those who don't know light and the light. Amen. Yeah. Amen. amen. I got a couple, I got some other words I gotta give to you as we're going on here, but let me just finish this here. And I promise you, I'm not gonna keep you long. Say amen, somebody. Amen. amen. We tell them long enough. <laughs> Say origin. Say to me the point at which the point at which something begins, something begins or rises or, rise, or, or from which 
it derives, which it derives. or originate. originate. Say origin. origin. Something that creates. Something creates. Now the word principle from the, 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 the source, I say it. The source, yes. yes. Something such as a belief or value. Something such as a belief or value. Now, I want you to lay hold of this. We talk about the principle of kingdom living. Mm -hmm. Now, we look at the word principle, something such as a belief or value. Now, you have to begin to value your belief or value what you believe or it's of no value at all. Right. So principles is very important for you and me, amen? Uh, I must be, and you and I must be principled men and women of God. Uh -huh. We can't be wacky. Right. That's right. Goofballs. Yeah. Run around here trying to do life. Come on. Life is going to do you in uh -huh. if you're not principled. Amen. So origin is something that creates principle is something such as a belief or value that helps a person know what is right or wrong mm. and that influences their actions. Mm. Amen. Again, principle in the thesaurus is something such as a belief or value that helps a person know what is right or wrong and that influences their action. What is influencing your actions? Right. What's influencing your action? And I know we want to put it on God, but God's going to put it back on you. What's influencing your action? Did the black man influence your actions? Did the white man influence your action? Amen? Come on. Is money influencing your action? Come on, help me back there. I got to help him back there. Amen. What's influencing your action? A man influencing your action? Some woman influencing your action? Huh? Right. All this is important, amen? Yes, yes. Because we were seeing here in this latter day that uh, there's men that have control over men and women and there once was principal actions is now is uh, out of course. Yes. They used to have principal actions and values. Now their values and the action is gone to a place of confusion. Mm. Okay. Well, they used to value, they don't value no more. Mm. Because of some person. You have to be aware of your values and who's causing your values, amen, to turn from the left or to, to the right, amen. Who is trying to devalue you in your principal state? Mm. Amen? Amen? The scripture says, after Peter was preaching, and 3,000 came unto the Lord, in Acts chapter 2 and 3. In chapter 2, he was exhorting the people with many other teachings, amen, after he preached the gospel, people got saved, and he wasn't so, you know, uh, you know he, he was all, he's all thrilled that they got saved, but he had to take another step and share with the people, I know you saved, I know you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, but he told them, listen, you need to save yourselves from this untoward generation, from this evil and this perverse, this ungodly, huh? this money-driven generation. You got in, but you got to save yourself. You got to reestablish your principles, amen. Uh, there got to be a principle of order in your life, amen. Uh, you used to do this, you used to do that, amen. But now, no, no, you have to be now transformed. There has to come a transformation. You've got to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Nobody can do that but you and God together. Amen. You have to renew your mind. Amen. And be transformed. Amen. You have to let the principles of what God has said now transform your mind. Amen. And that you have a 
kingdom mindset, amen, of what now is right, what now is wrong, amen. Uh, not what makes me feel good is right. There's a lot of things that feels good, but there's a lot of things that are wrong about your feeling good. Amen. Amen. And in this day of our time, 2022, you're going to find yourself in uh, many difficult conversations with loved ones, amen, of your own household, on your job, amen, in the marketplace, amen, uh, in, in discussions, amen, where you'll have to step out against this untoward generation, amen, with people you love. And you can excuse yourself, amen, from telling the truth, amen. amen. Because they're waiting for somebody who is the light of life, amen, to get them back on the course of life and life. Hallelujah. Uh, your children are in danger. My heart goes out to the parents now who have children. Yeah. Uh, they're going to have to uh, listen to their children and, and be aware of what uh, their children are saying and what they're watching, what they're, what's, what's around them, amen, because there are deceptions out there, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Many deceptions out there, amen, yeah. and, and they're, they're multiplied, amen, yeah. uh, beyond uh, our day, praise God. Yeah. Yeah. Most things that are out now was in closets back then, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, I, amen, everything you see now is blatant in your face. Yeah. We live in a dangerous world, amen. And I have a few words to, to give you an understanding, amen, uh, that everything looks all right right now. But I, I make, I, I'm putting you on notice, parents, amen, for your own benefit that you'll have truth to help you with your loved ones, with your sons and with your daughters, amen. Huh? Amen. Amen. Everything is not all right. Praise God. Let me finish this. Principle, something such as a belief or value that helps a person know what is right or wrong and that influences their actions. Mm -hmm. Praise God. The principle of kingdom order, a very important statement here. If we as a people don't hear to believe, to receive what God has to say, about life and living, note this, we are in a place of, listen here, hear it, illusion. Now I'm going to hit this hard, I'm going to stop. I don't want any parent in here crying. hear me? I don't want any parent in this room to be in a place where you come in my office crying about Sally or Jimmy. Amen. Uh, no, no, no. See, we, we're going to put the axe in the root this morning. Because if we don't, you'll be crying. You'll be in counseling sessions. You'll be, you, you'll be in anger. You'll be upset. Why? Because the principle of order of the kingdom of God has been violated. Oh boy. I don't know if you're ready for this. I'm coming. All right. I'm coming at you. Okay. Say the principles, the principles. of kingdom order. Kingdom order. So again, the principles, the principles of kingdom order. Of kingdom order. Now, before I I, I I I hit this thing, go back to Genesis. I have to redo this. You don't mind, do you? I got two. I don't mind. You know, I, I'm redundant on purpose for a reason because things are waxing worse and worse, and we on the skateboard going backwards in this day that we live. Mm. I'm trying to preach you happy. Mm -hmm. 
I am. I'm really am. Cecil? Women? Oh, I don't know. You said you love me. I got to know. Text. Now, here we go. Now, I'm going to go through this quickly because I want you to hear this. This is one of the most important points about the principle of kingdom order and of teaching. It's from the first thing I gave you at the beginning. Do you remember what I gave you at the beginning? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to reiterate, okay? The first order of importance of understanding the principle of kingdom order is, number one, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost. Genesis chapter 1. You have to say amen. Now I hear somebody say, y'all did this last week. We're going to do it again this week. Amen. Tune in. We might do it next week again. So you can grasp this. Amen. Praise God. The first uh, five verses of Genesis 1. Why don't you read with me together? Read. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was brought form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided what? The light from the darkness. God divided what? The light from the darkness. Now, God's going to do that all through your life. Amen. Divide light from darkness. Amen. Come on, he's going to show you light, and he's going to show you what's darkness, amen. Darkness, and this is light, praise God. Amen. you got to choose, amen. Right. Say, I'm in the light, praise I'm God. I'm in the light. I'm in the light, praise I'm God. Light. Now, now, when darkness comes, don't start embracing dark. When you light. That's right. right. Don't, don't be a goofball, egghead, or whatever, humped upside. Uh, that's what you'll become, praise God. Amen. God divides light from darkness. Yes, I ain't talking about your pigmentation either. Come on. That's happening too in this generation. There's a divide, amen, of uh, what color you are. But we're not into that. Praise God. My God. Where, where would I stop at? Four, yeah. One and three, verse four. And God saw that the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. I want everybody to read with me because it's important. There's a blessing coming your way. Verse 5. And God I called the light, light day, day, and the darkness he called night. night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. Evening and morning were the what? First day. First day. Four things that's vitally important to us in these verses. Amen. Understanding the principle of kingdom order. Number 1, verse 3. It says what? God it says what? God what it says? God and God said, meaning, I'm silent. God said, so I am silent. God said, so I am silent. Amen. What do you mean, I'm silent? If God said something, and you come and ask me, what do I think about what God has said, I'm silent. Let's read what he said. See, if I start trying to explain something that God already said, Come on. you get in trouble. Yeah. Right. I get in trouble. You get in trouble. Amen. Yeah, you try to explain something that God already said, uh, you start messing up. Uh, let's read it again. Verse 3 said, and God said, what did he say? That there be light and there was light. Well, how did light come? How did light come? And some folks want you to take on deep. No, God said it. It was so. Amen. What neutrons, electrons, or you know, no trons at all? Did God use? He said, "Let there be light." Light. So God made light. All right. So I just put this down as the Holy Spirit was messing with me. In verse three said, "And God said." And I said, so I'm sorry, God. Mm -hmm. Verse 4 says what? And God saw. Hold up, look at me. God saw, so I don't see. Okay? God saw. Yes. Guess what? You don't see. So if you start seeing what God saw, then you become God. 
God saw. I don't see. Now, this is important to me. So whatever's important to your leader, I'm going to give it to you. Amen. So, verse 4 says, God saw, so I don't see. Why don't I see? Note the word saw. Ready? Mm -hmm. Since saw is the past tense form of see, I saw is considered the standard from when describing past events. Jocelyn, hear that? Since saw is the past tense form of see, I saw is considered the standard from when describing past events. It's so. Amen. Yes. I said it's so. Amen. 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 I don't need no discussion about what God saw. Amen. It's already done. Amen. I don't re see what God already saw. Amen. I can't help you. If you can't see like God saw, then you're in trouble. Amen. Because if you don't see like God saw, you're going to make a mockery. Of yourself, not of God. Right. Right. Go make what? Make it worse. You're gonna make it worse. You're gonna mess it up because he already saw. So what are you trying to see? Right. See what he saw and agree with him. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. Agree with God saw and be happy. I said, wow. I said, that was wild again. Yeah. Amen. You see, you're going to try to receive what we saw what God saw already. Amen. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be on drugs. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, you're going to be on drugs. You're going to be on somebody's couch. Try to count to five. You're gonna try. You're gonna, you're gonna find it difficult to navigate in life with a lot of people who see like God saw. Because when God saw, He made it to be exactly what it was supposed to be. Lastly, come on. Uh, where I'm at. All right. Uh, verse 4. Read. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided light from darkness. Now, God was just messing with me. The Holy Spirit was just messing with me. And God declares what he said and saw. And that gives it his definition. That what he said and saw, he declared it to be good. So. God declares what he said and saw. God declares what he said and saw and gives it his definition. That what he said and saw. So whatever God said and saw and declared it good, I declare it to be good. You declare it to be good. How many say amen to that? Amen. I can hear you. Amen. Amen. So we're in agreement up to this point. Yes. Lastly, verse number five, God names what he said and saw, that which was good, and he stamps his approval, is your honor. He stamps his approval on it. Amen. All right. You have two children, right? Going on three, right? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Alright. He said no to the third. Alright. Final answer? Yes. Okay, I can hear. <laughs> Alright, yes, okay. Alright. Uh, what's your oldest name? Wesley. Wesley. Who named him? I can't hear you, sir. Chris and I. Chris and you. Right. Affirmative, right? Who named the second? 
both. All right. So your first child's name is Larry. Right. And your second child's name is Henry. All right. So your first child's name is second, eight. Third one? <laughs> oh, she has right. So she affirmatively says that her first child's name is Wesley. Second, Aiden. And she believes that. She knows that. Huh? I hear you. Oh. She knows that. Oh. <laughs> you know what she's saying, y'all? You want to hear? Yeah. Look at me, come on. And make this, this, make this principle yours. Yeah. All right, ready? Ready to hear? I'm ready. You don't have to believe what you know. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. You don't have to believe what you know. What's your name? Yeah. Yeah. Camille. How you know? Oh, there she goes. That's she, right. First she's authenticated. She got a birth certificate. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So your name is not Louise. It's Camille. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me. I'm not naming you. <laughs> That's Camille, y'all. Say amen, Camille. Amen, Camille. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And, and, and so she knows who she is. That's right. Camille will never be Louise. Camille, yeah. Camille will never be Larry. That's right. George. Huh? Wesley will never be Sally. Don't be acting like it ain't happening. I'm going to make sure she know. What's your second son's name? Aiden. Aiden will never be Julie, right? Okay. All right. I, I'm just, I'm just Amen. putting it out there. Amen. 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 Because you want to do your own council at your own house. Right. Amen. You got to do your own cast out there at your own house. Right. You're gonna, you're gonna bring down every imagination, every high thing yeah, that's gonna exalt yeah, itself right. against the knowledge in your house. Amen. Yes, yeah, right. You gotta bring everything in captivity. Amen. Right. Under the thoughts of Christ. Amen. Come on. You want to bring every thought. Every thought. Every thought. You got to bring it. Huh? That's right. Huh? If God didn't say it, you ain't saying it. Praise God. If God said it, you say it. Amen. That's exactly what God has said. Amen. Come on. Praise God. What's your daughter's name? Taylor. Taylor. Amen. It might be here next week. What's she laughing? No, don't be laughing, y'all. I'm serious. Don't be laughing. Amen. I've seen it happen in this church. All right, Lord. Among this people. Amen. Where seducing spirits have got a hold of some young people. Hallelujah! We thought they were a girl. Now they think, amen, that they are a boy. It's not funny. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know why it's not funny? Not because they ain't coming to your house. Right. It ain't gonna be funny when it does come to your house, amen. But it ain't coming to your house, amen. But you're gonna fight a good fight of faith, amen. You're gonna fight a good fight of faith. You're gonna fight a good fight of faith. You're gonna fight a good fight of faith, amen. You're gonna fight it now, amen. Devil, you ain't coming in here. Devil, you ain't got no authority here. And don't sit here and say it can't happen. Come on, if you ain't walking with God and you ain't keeping time with God and living in the principle of God, the devil will sneak in there, amen? You're, Give me what I need. If your eyes closed and you live in your fabulous life, amen, and not paying attention to what's going on around you. Come on. Hallelujah! My God, we give you praise and glory in this place. Praise God. Verse 5 said, uh, verse 5 speaks about God named what he said and saw uh, that which was good and he stamps his approval. He stamps his approval. 
He stamps his approval. He stamps his approval. Say he stamps his approval. He stamps his approval. I had to get these four things out. Is that all right? Again, origin is the point at which something begins. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Or from which it derives, originates. Origin is something that creates. Uh, what did uh, Apostle Sam about, said about uh, that which is not what? The uncreated. The uncreated. Come on, how The uncreated is the only one that can create. The uncreated is the only one that can create. So if God created the world, and he did, he's the only one that can change the landscape. And he's not changing the landscape. You got to go with the landscape that God has set in operation, amen? He ain't changing the landscape. He don't care who you are, where you come from, how much money, how much money you ain't got, amen? What neighborhood you live in, he don't care where you live at, amen? The devil don't care where you live at, praise God. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm almost finished. Origin is something that creates principle, something such as a belief or value that helps a person know that helps a person know what is right or wrong, and that influences their actions. Hmm. The principles of kingdom order. A very important statement here. Listen carefully. If we as a people don't hear to believe, to receive what God has to say about life and living, note this. We are in a place of, here it is, we're in a place of an illusion. I said we're in a place of an illusion. Say uh, illusion. Illusion. Praise God. You know what illusion is? No, I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, we think people understand what these terms mean. And a lot of times we don't. Because a lot of folks are in illusion sitting right in the church. Huh? Because we thought we knew. So, here it is, an illusion. Write this down. A lot of them going on in our day. Amen. An illusion is a misleading image. An illusion is a misleading image. Oh my God. Presented to the vision, which becomes an optical illusion. I'll read it again. An illusion is a misleading image presented to the vision as an optical illusion. Something that deceives or misleads intellectually and most important, spiritually. Mm. I'm going to say it again. Here it is, an illusion. It's a misleading image. A misleading image. A misleading image. Mm -hmm. What's a misleading image? Come here. Sorry, I got him. Come here. Pray. Come here.
He's my man. We're holding hands, right? But that's a what? Come on, that's a what? An illusion is a misleading image presented to what? Look, look at me. Look, look at me. Look up here. It's a visual, right? Yes. We were holding hands, right? Yes. I was smiling at him, right? It was a illusion, a misleading that we were together. We were partners. It's a misleading image presented to the vision. It's an optical what? Illusion. I told you, I see one again. I see it yesterday on television and television again. They, and they're showing all these vacation getaways. Amen. People getting away. Amen. And all of a sudden, this optical illusion or this misleading image presented to young ladies. Amen. Standing face to face. On the beach, beautiful scenery all around. Michelle, and they just kiss. Mm. Right. We're in love and we're on the beach and we're having a grand time. That's an illusion. But to some, it's not an illusion. But to God, it's an illusion. I said to God, it's a what? Amen. Amen. It's not reality. Amen. It's not the originated purpose of why God created them. Amen. Are you listening? The principle of kingdom order is God made male and Amen. God made male and Amen. Email. Amen. Genesis chapter uh, 6. Genesis chapter 6. Come on. I only got two more minutes. Yeah, I'm going to lose you. I'll, I'm just trying to get these specific points out. I'm going to finish. Uh, I'm going to have been up here over here. 45 minutes? One hour. One hour. Get out of here. <laughs> you got to be kidding. That's an illusion. <laughs> I got what? She said I got 30 minutes. Come on, let me go on. Outside the church, Amen. you know, this is God's world. God's world is confused about the principle of His order. Amen. 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 I'm gonna help you to help others. Amen. Uh, chapter six, verse nine. nine. You have to say amen. amen. Let's read and read loud. Want to read? These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his what? Generations. 
perfect in what? Generation. God wants you perfect in your generation. God wants you upright in this generation. Amen. I only got one amen. Come on, come on, come on. Wake up, come on. I need, I need response. Amen. God wants us what? Perfect. Amen. God wants us perfect in this generation. If Noah was perfect in his generation, why can't you and I be perfect in our generation? You know, you're saying a man can't be perfect. Don't we say that? Yes. Huh? Don't we say that? But Jesus don't say that. All right. I said, Jesus don't say that. He said, be perfect as my Father who is in heaven is perfect. He said it. I didn't. Amen. Huh? Just he like the man Abraham. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Yes. Walk with me and be thou perfect on Abraham. Amen. Yes. That's why he became the father of many nations. Amen. Yes. Uh -huh. Praise God. God yes. said that. Amen. Yes. See, when you come in my company, when you come into my presence, amen, I'm going to say yay and such, and you say amen. Amen. You don't debate me. Hallelujah. Huh? You don't argue with me. Amen. Right. If I saw it, you see it. Amen. If I said it, you got it. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. If God said it, I got it. Yes. Amen. He ain't no man that can lie. That's right. He don't repent of what he said. And he said it. My God. All right. Verse 9 says what? And God Genesis 6 and 9 says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. And Noah walked with God. And Noah walked with God. And Noah walked with God. And we are walking with God. We are walking with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Read. The earth, the earth, was, the earth, was, earth also was what? Right. The earth was what? Before God. God. And, and the earth, earth was filled with violence. The earth was filled with what? Violence. Our earth is filled with violence. Right now. Right now. When? Right now. Now, anytime somebody in broad daylight cuts somebody's head off, uh, the earth is corrupt yeah. and filled with violence. Yeah. Yeah. Two men went around town in London and then stabbed about 10 people to death. Oh, yeah. Earth is corrupt and filled with violence. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Come on, come on. We're in the days of Noah. Earth filled with violence. Come on. Yes. 29 transgenders got killed this year. One got killed two weeks ago. Yeah. Got in the car with some guy. The guy probably found out that it was a when the girl was a guy. Got in the car and shot him twice. Mm -hmm. Regina Maya, you seen her on television. Dead now. I'm going to tell you, show you why in a minute. Verse 11. Read. The earth also was corrupt before God. And the earth was filled with what? Violence. Violence. And God looked upon the earth. God looked upon. Who looked upon? God. Why did God look upon the earth? It's his earth. He looked upon the earth because he made it. Yes. It's his earth. He's concerned about his earth. Yes. I didn't make that. I didn't make this. No. I didn't create this to be that way and this way and that person that way and this person that way. No. He looked upon his earth. Uh -huh. yeah. It's his earth. It's his earth. Psalm 24 1. The earth is the Lord and the, fool is the, the world. So it's his earth that he was concerned about his earth and he looked upon it. Yeah. The Bible says then God looked upon the earth and behold it was. It was, corrupt. it was, corrupt. we don't see it as corrupt, but he seen it as corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Verse 13, read. And God said unto Noah, God said to Noah the end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with, the earth is filled with, the earth is filled with, through, 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 through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Why is he destroying the earth with them? They corrupt. Not why? They corrupt. Because of the body, because of the, the flagrant, the flagrant iniquity and the perverseness that's going on in the earth, in the land. Now here, we're talking about an illusion. Illusion is a misleading image presented to the vision. An optical illusion. 
goggles have an optical illusion that I didn't make this. This ain't what I call this thing to be. I bless everything that I made. I bless everything I made. Yes, he does. But I want to show you something. Here in these chapters uh, 6 and 7 of Genesis, God is resetting the order. Uh -huh. God is resetting his earth. He's wiping out the old. Say that. He's wiping out the old. And reestablishing the new. And reestablishing the new. But God is doing something here. He told Noah, I want you to gather unto this ark kind. Yes. yes. Every kind of animal. Amen. Yes. And I want you to bring it into the ark. Yes. So we can replenish, reset, restore the earth. Yes. I'm giving the earth another chance. Yes. Yes. I'm giving the world another chance of makeover. Say makeover. makeover. Wow. Ain't God good? A reset, yes, you got it, girl. He reset his whole order of things. Yeah. He's so merciful. Yes. And he said, I want you, children of God, to reset the order of the day. Yeah. I want you to reset, amen, your own standard first. Amen. And everything else around you. Amen. Huh? By this shall all men know that you are my disciple because you have love one towards another. Now, here's what I want to show you, amen, and I'll be almost done. Yeah. Not done at all, son. So if God said it is so if God said it is so Amen, right? Amen. So if God said to me it's so so. Now, remember you said that this morning. Because when you leave here, you're gonna be challenged. Oh yes. I don't want you to buckle under compromise. I don't want you to buckle, buckle, buckle under compromise because of a friend you have. Because of a loved one you have. I don't want you to buckle. I don't want you to get all, you know, confused and nervous. You should never, oh my, here we go. Can I throw this out there? You know what I'm doing? Jocelyn when we throw it out there. You don't want your friend to ever have a second thought of the principle or principle of value concerning your life. You see, if you double guess yourself, come on. You put a double guess on your father, which is in heaven. Oh, yeah. I, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's got to do with your heavenly father. Father, son, and Holy Spirit. It has to do with you, you know, you know throwing them out the drive. Uh, if you ain't sure about what he said, you make them assured of what they're saying. Because they're looking at you that you don't know what you stand for. You know the principle of the kingdom that you're a part of. I thought you knew who you were. I thought you knew what you were about. I thought your kingdom ruled over all kingdoms. It does. I'm going to do that. Okay, here we are. Here we are. I want you to never forget this chapter right here. This is the reset. Say the reset. The reset. Verse 1, chapter 7 says what? And the Lord, come on, 1 and 3. And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by seven. The male and his female. The male and what? His female. And of the beasts that are not clean by two. The male and his female. Ooh, look at that, God. Verse 3. Of fowls also of the air by seven. The male and the female to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. Face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living something that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. 
Verse 5, I like this. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. My God. Verse 2 again. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by seven. Read. The male and and of the beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Verse 3. Of fowls also of the air by seven, the male and the female. To do what? To do what? To do what? To keep seed alive. To keep life going. Amen. And it takes a male and his female. It takes a male and his female. It takes a male and his female to keep seed alive. Anything else is what? An illusion. Anything else is what? An illusion. It's coming through another way. It's coming through a false way. Another door. Amen. He didn't say make, make man by a test tube. Huh? I know this thing was shouting, but I'm shouting all over the place. Praise God. I'm jumping all in my skin. Praise God. I'm getting true. Praise God. The male and his. The male and his. See, see, see. God ain't confused. But this optical illusion is causing men, women, boys, and girls to become confused. Yes. Yes. All right, here we go. Illusion, I'm finished with that. Thank you. Say illusion. Illusion. Something that deceives or misleads intellectually and most important, spiritually. Say illusion. Illusion. Say it for me. Perception of, Perception of something, something objectively, objectively existing, existing in such a way, in such a way as to cause Misinterpretation, misinterpretation of its actual nature. Of its actual nature. An illusion is perception of something objectively existing in such a way as to cause misinterpretation of its actual nature or origin. Are you getting that? You got that written down? Come on. Illusion is a perception of something objectively existing in such a way as to cause misinterpretation of its actual nature or origin. Amen. And so when two men uh, come together and live in a house together, amen, and they, you know, they buy some children, amen, praise God, those children think, amen, uh, 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 this is a, uh, 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 I can't say, uh, 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 I can't even say it. Can you, uh, uh, it can't be mommy and daddy. And so the child goes to school, so I have two daddies. Because uh, they're learning in school, amen. There's a mama and a father, and there's a papa, right? Father and mother. So they're, they're under an optical illusion, amen. There's something going on here, amen. This is messed up. Uh, this is messed up. That's why you got to know the truth, and the truth will make you free. you got to know what you believe and know whom you believe, amen. And be able to help somebody. Yes. Praise God. An illusion. The state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. Oh my God. You get this illusion. What's an illusion? It's the state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. Or sexually deceived or misled. Sexually what? Misled or deceived. Amen. So that man was misled and deceived. He thought he was picking up a hooker. But he did pick up a hooker, per se. But the hooker was not a female hooker. It was a male dressed as a female hooker. He got irate. Got confused in his mind. Got angered. Got fierce anger in his bosom. Because his friend may have seen him. 
allow this transgender to get in his car and he ain't like that. He don't go down like that. I, I don't play like that. Praise God. Uh, but his friends see him. I ain't going out like that. Put on his gun. Bam. Bam. Because of uh, misleading. Because of a an illusion. He couldn't handle it. I know you're thinking. Yeah, you think on. Amen. Think on. Yeah. Yeah. So let me let me wind this up. My half an hour almost gone. Say illusion. illusion. Say a little louder. Illusion. Say I will not be. I will not be caught up. Caught up in an illusion. In an illusion. Lord help me. Lord help me not to be caught up. Not to be caught up in an illusion. An illusion is a state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. Mm -hmm. Something that is believed to be true or real, but that is actually false or unreal. Uh -huh. It's a delusion. Say a delusion. delusion. What's well, a delusion? It implies an inability to distinguish between what is real and what only seems to be real. Oh, Lord Jesus. We're going somewhere with this. Come on. An illusion is a state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. Something that is believed to be true or real, but that is actually false or unreal. It, it's a delusion. It implies an inability to distinguish. Inability to distinguish between what is real and what only seems to be real. Only Seems to be real. Oh my my. That's up on this side. Hold up, give me a minute. Praise the name of our God. First mm -hmm. Timothy 4. I'm close with this. First Timothy 4. And I'll have to just pick up the rest of this. Next week. Take two for part three. Can you give the definition again of how much you got? <laughs> a state or fact of the intellectually. Which where you at? Which one you want? Illusion. The whole thing? Oh, it's gonna cost you money. Like, <laughs> Jimmy check it out. Come on. Alright. Uh, she asked, I'm gonna give it to her. Here it is. Illusion is a misleading image. You got that? Okay. A misleading image. Presented to the vision slash an optical illusion. Optical illusion. Number two, illusion. Something that deceives or misleads. Intellectually and most important, spiritually. I mean, don't act like a saint you ain't. Don't be an illusional saint. Nobody said amen. Illusion. Perception of something objectively existing in such a way as to cause a misinterpretation of its actual nature or origin. Illusion is a perception of something objectively existing in such a way as to cause a misinterpretation of its actual nature or origin. Illusion. The state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. Illusion. A state or fact of being intellectually deceived or misled. That could be spiritually also. Illusion, something that is believed to be true or real, but that is actually false or unreal. Something that is, to be, something that is believed to be true or real, but that is actually false or unreal. It's a delusion. 
which implies an inability to distinguish between what is real and what only seems to be real. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you get that here, buddy? I'm not going to take you to the first time meeting today. I'll take you next time. I'm over here. <laughs> Glory to God. Even us hot here or are you cool? It is hot. Oh uh, my God. I was like this last week. I swear. Uh, I know it's a fire. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it, y'all. Uh, you can't ever be the same again. I want you to know that. Amen. Oh my God. Hallelujah. The principles of the kingdom order. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Any questions? Oh my. representation mm -hmm. of the real. Mm -hmm. I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that not one in this place or under the sound of my voice shall be deceived, nor anything that's connected to any man and woman, boy or girl, in this place shall be deceived. Mm -hmm. My God, concerning Hallelujah. the principles of oh my God, hey, kingdom, order, and its realities. Yes. Father, cause this people's eyes to see, ears to hear, hearts to perceive and understand. Mm -hmm. With thus saith the word of the Lord. Father, decree your blessing upon this body right now. Set your feet now. As your hands are raised, I'm releasing a blessing upon you even now. My King. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You can play your life. Yeah, I don't need that, that, that artificial music. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Raise your hands to heaven. Amen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. We bless your name. We bless your name. Father, as every hand is lifted, Lord God, in this place. And Father, I decree the fire in the presence of Almighty God. I decree the spirit of burning, Lord God, to burn in the bellies, Lord God, in the hearts and the minds of His people, Lord God, for your righteousness, your holiness, Lord God. Oh, God, your perfection, God. Father, the glory of the Lord, God. So arise in the midst of this people, oh God. Let the fire of your presence, Lord God, Oh God, burn in such a way, oh God. Anything that's contrary to, Lord God, your purpose, plan, and design of that which you have not, Lord God, created. Be burned out, Lord God. Be driven out, Lord God. Hallelujah. By the power of the Holy Ghost. My God. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let your glory be revealed. Let your glory be revealed. Father, let your glory be revealed. Yes. Let there be a reset, Father. I pray a divine reset. Of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, oh God. 
But to be reset at the standard, Lord God, of your will, your way, your plan, your design, be effectuated in the hearts and the lives of this people. Yes, Lord. Father, I decree your blessing upon every life that comes in the sound of my voice, even those who are in social media. I bless you. Hallelujah. And I come in freedom. 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 Every corrupt and perverse thing. Freedom. Be loose. From every false way, from every optical illusion. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be free. Be free. Free. Clap your hands for your freedom. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
when we offer him. He does mine. Yes. I said he does mine. Yes, he does. Come on, come.
debit or credit cards only, please. Amen. Okay. On Friday, October the 7th, Apostle will be ministering at Jubilant Ribbon service, which starts at 7. Apostle is asking all who will to be an attend, asking all who will to be attend at all times to worship with Pastor Gail Newman and Julian Raymond. What that address is 558 Andrews Road, Metter, Ohio, 44060. We are also collecting blankets and socks for the homeless. Amen. If you donate, we are asking for new blankets and socks. Donations can be dropped off here at the church, FCA. We'll be distributing the blankets and socks on Saturday, October the 29th at MLK Library on Stokes Boulevard at 1 o'clock. If you, you want to meet and go out. If you want to meet and go out. We're going to meet up at Stokes Boulevard. Okay. All those who can, please join us in this ministry of love of God. Oh, great. A five-year church and pastoral anniversary celebration dinner for Freedom Empowerment Center will be Friday, November the 11th at Holiday Inn South. Tickets are $60 and can be purchased by Gillify. Tickets are selling fast, so get your ticket as soon as possible. If you are attending the celebration, the church has reserved a block of hotel rooms for $109. For those interested, amen. And I have a flyer here from the Church of God in Cleveland, Love Concert, Give, Serve, and Lead. Different pastors are ministering, Pastor Aaron Holt, Pastor Fabian White, and Pastor Frank Wilson. It's the men's weekend. The theme is men arise and shine. Isaiah 60 and 1. This is coming up September the 23rd. It will be a breakfast. September the 24th, which is a Saturday. And the men's day is September the 25th. The times for the 23rd is at 6 p.m. The breakfast is at 10 a.m. And the men's day sun Sunday is 11 a.m. Uh, the church is located at 110, no, 1100 Union Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44105. This is, I don't know if it's not on the table or something. Okay. There it is on the table. Any questions? I don't have any answers. I got through it, right? Amen. No, this is the dinner. What is that? The dinner. But you have to get your tickets by October. November the 11th. Uh huh. But the last date they can get their. It doesn't say. On here, doesn't say. October something is the last day for it. Do they have flyers for that? Are there flyers on the table? Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. We have flyers for freedom and power. Amen. If you're ready to give your offering, please stand. Do we have a reading assignment of possible? Uh, first Timothy. First Timothy, the whole book? Yes. The whole Amen. book of First Timothy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So oh, read the oh, Everybody can to see if you can press your way to be at uh, Bishop John's anniversary from our son to the ministry. Uh, make a request to go and we'll celebrate them for the five years they've been in existence. Amen? Amen. So all they can. Amen. Amen. I want to uh, see you at that celebration. Mm -hmm. God bless. Amen. Ushers. If you're ready, you can stand. Ushers, come down, lead the people. Everybody ready? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Pray over the offering. 
sir, and after we pray, we're dismissed. Father God, we thank you for those who are able to give today, that you've blessed us in so many ways. We thank you, Father God, that we'll be good stewards over all that you've blessed us with. Mm -hmm. We thank you, oh, Father thank God, you. that every need is met in this house. There is no lack because the Lord is our shepherd, and we shall not lack for anything. We thank you for our pastors, apostles, teachers, evangelists, all that makes up the body of Christ to edify and magnify your name. We give you the glory and the honor and the praise. We are cheerful givers, Father, yes, and we thank you that thank we're you. able to sow into God's kingdom. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen. 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 Thank you.